Hello, I'm Stefano Kukuraki, and I'm the Program Director of the Master's in Industrial Ecology. It is a great time to join the industrial ecology community now. What's new in the world? A lot of things are happening, a lot of phenomena that we thought impossible only a short while ago. The planet, according to some, is even shrinking. What does that mean? It means that because of, cli of the climate crisis or because of the uh, impacts of human systems on the natural environment, it is possible only to live a good quality of life in certain parts of the world. And things are getting even worse. We need to study uh, how the natural systems are interacting with the human systems. How are we triggering changes in the natural systems too? We need also to study how society works, take a look at the combinations and interactions between human systems and the natural systems, as I said, but also look at decisions that humans make and how those decisions may impact the system in turn. Human systems deeply influence the Earth. Now we know. Take uh, the example of the IPCC report, focusing on impacts, adaptation, and vulnerability. In this report, that came only recently, interactions among the coupled systems of climate, ecosystems, human society, determine large-scale environmental, economic, and social impacts. You might have heard about the concept of tipping points. So stages of the planet, of the natural systems, points of no return, stages in which the planet is moving from one status, one place to the next. So what if the Earth as a system is now operating in a quantifiably new state? What if you have moved out of a stable Holocene into a new geological period? What if the ship on which we sail has grown so large that is an insatiable appetite and increasing affluence have radically altered all around it. Tipping points are likely to, uh, to be triggered because of human systems, because of human nature interactions. You can see an example of this slide taken from a recent publication. You can see that some of aspects that are related to the warming of the planet, some states of the natural system, have already been affected. Think of the Amazon rainforest and the dieback of the Amazon rainforest, which would happen between two and four degrees climate change. Some of these tipping points, some of these uh, states, new states of the Earth systems, mean uncharted territory for us. Means, it means that we don't really know where the planet is headed. Welcome to the Anthropocene. Some features of the Anthropocene are related to the fact that it's a geologically uh, irrelevant, perhaps, uh, time. So it's really small on the grand scheme of things. But a lot of things have happened in this period. There's been a ramping up, a great acceleration of all sorts of social, but also environmental phenomena. Think of emissions, think of uh, population dynamics, the growth of, of population, or the growth in emissions, or the growth in uh, and the ramping up of a number of, uh, of uh, natural cycles, but also human cycles. What about the flip side of the story? What about positive trends? What's new in the world from the perspective of positive trends? Let's try to look at the planet again. There's been a lot of attempts to globally orient policy making for sustainability. You, a lot of you might have heard of uh, the Sustainable Development Goals, the Global Agenda for Sustainable Development. Think of uh, attempts also policy making for sustainability that are related to the circular economy or to stimulating closing loops of materials. The European Green Deal is an example of that. But there's other examples from other parts of the world too. Social change and uh, social phenomena have shown that change is possible and uh, a new generation of, uh, of minds and spirits have been tackling uh, and embracing have been taking behavior that's unsustainable, have been embracing sustainability. And also that can have an impact. Other trends relate to population dynamics. We know now the population will plateau towards the end of the century and will actually decline at some point. All models agree, agree about that. What about other technological trends? The cost of uh, solar, it's at the lowest, lowest historical. 
which means that uh, lower cost of renewables means that more renewables can be deployed, also making and also such a choice as an both an environmental positive impacts, but also makes sense from an, from an economic perspective. There are possible good trajectories. I've shown you before some examples of potential tipping points. But there's also ways to stabilize the planet Earth and move it from a, uh, from a direction headed towards uh, uh, breaching planetary thresholds, so taking, uh, taking, going beyond the tipping points to a more stabilized Earth. We need people that are trained to tackle such problems, to tackle wicked problems, as, as these problems are called, because they are so complex and are related to the interacting, um, to the interplay of uh, macro systems that are complex in nature. We need quantitative sustainability experts. You have an interest in these masters, because after the masters, you are able to be a quantitative sustainability expert. You want to look at the full picture and be able to tackle such problems. You want to contribute to solve uh, sustainability problems. You want also, also to design solutions for sustainability problems. And all of these are part of the training of the industrial ecologist. We need to know, and we train students to know, how the Earth system works from the perspective of the natural sciences, but also how society works, take, taking the social science perspective, together with uh, the engineering science perspective in how technology works and how technology can play a role in solving some of the challenges that the planet is facing. Industrial ecology provides a necessary solid scientific foundation to tackle such questions. So what is industrial ecology? If you take the, the definition of uh, the International Society of Industrial Ecology, industrial ecology is the field of science that studies systemic relationships between society, the economy, and the natural environment. Industrial ecology focuses on the use of system thinking, including technology, to reduce environmental impacts and reconcile human development with environmental stewardship, while recognizing the importance of socio-economic factors in, a, in achieving these goals. There are three pillars to industrial ecology. All of those are tackled and covered in this master's program. Technology, society, and ecology and the environment. All of those and innovation along those pillars of sustainability contribute to, to making an impact and driving impact on sustainability or for sustainability. You will focus in the program, and we will train you on aspects related to knowledge, for instance, on industrial systems, on circular economy, on the governance or transi transition theory, and looking at uh, dynamics in uh, systems that have multiple stakeholders. But also you will be trained on uh, skills, uh, on the methods and tools of industrial ecology, such as life cycle assessment, material flow analysis, programming, stakeholders analysis, agent-based modeling, and all sorts of skills that are concrete and can be used also on the job market after you will be graduating. We are looking for students and we train further students to have an open mind, to be collaborative, independent and academically critical. So to be critical of shortcuts and easy solutions. So to be critical minds that stress test solutions. Our program uniquely combines the strengths of two top universities. And those trends are important because I've shown you how multifaceted industrial ecology is, but also the sustainability challenges to take apart. So we take the natural sciences perspective of Leiden University and combine it with the engineering science and social science perspective of the Technical University of Delft, which makes this prog program quite unique. Also because the diverse members of staff are unique researchers with great skills that are also active members of the International Society for the Industrial Ecology and which are recognized by the global community of scholars as well. You will learn working individually but also in the interdisciplinary group work. You will have a fellow student and say they have the most diverse backgrounds. You have interactive lectures and innovative lecture and teaching formats. Fellow students will have either an engineering, natural science, or social science background, making it interesting for you to develop your own pathway, and your own definition of industrial ecology, and become your unique uh, type of industrial ecologist. We have a diverse set of nationalities in the staff, but also in the students, and a diverse set of cultures. This is an overview of the curriculum of the program. You start with the core, co core courses of the program in the first year, Think of uh, society's metabolism, earth system science and analysis, 
the methods courses, both on the physical processes and on the social processes, but also courses focusing on system design for industrial ecology, transition, innovation, and governance. You also have space to specialize and become a specific type of industrial ecologies, and I would say unique type of industrial ecologies. We also have design projects, integrated projects, both in collaboration with uh, external parties, so industrial and urban uh, companies, or companies open air, operating in, industri in the industrial sector, but also uh, stakeholders from urban systems. And also the possibility to work in groups towards sustainability challenges that external commissioners pose to our students and uh, students with the help of academic supervisors as well and external commissioners then work towards a sustainability challenge in the second year in the first semester. This program also has a final, final thesis which will focus on, uh, we which will take the last semesters of the program and will take also, uh, will be either an applied case or a methodological development case of industrial ecology. I've shown you the core courses, there's more on this slide related to the elective space, there's some specialization courses that are possible related to the methods of industrial ecology, like uh, uh, material flow analysis, MFA, LCA, environmental input-output analysis, programming, circular economy. There's also the possibility to take electives from other study programs of so both Leiden University and the Technical University of Delft. There's also a space for your research uh, towards the end of the program. What do uh, the industrial ecologists that graduate from the program do? Well, a lot of, uh, there is high demand for the skills that industrial ecology and the, the industrial ecologists have and the knowledge that they get in the program. And also I mentioned that there is quite unique set of skills uh, and specializations that you will get through the elective space that you have. Our alumni end up working at governmental institutions, research institutions, but also in private companies and multinationals also in non-governmental organizations, consulting agencies, and some of the alumni stay and, and uh, continue their pathway as industrial ecologists in academia. All of these contexts require these skills that are related to industrial ecology, related to thinking uh, in, uh, in trade-offs, understanding system-wide effect, for instance, and also understanding the, the potential impact of solutions. All of those skills are flexible and usable in all those contexts. To register for this program, you can go to the website of Leiden University and uh, follow the path that you see on the slide, education, study programs, industrial ecology. You can also look, take a look at the admission requirements uh, that are also available on, on the related page of our study program. We are looking for the demonstrable knowledge of environmental sustainability challenges on an academic and professional level. We're also looking for experience with multi or interdisciplinary education before joining the program. We're also looking for, uh, for students that have passed at least eight ECTS of mathematics or programming or statistics or a combination of these three topics before joining the program. If you have uh, studied at the Dutch University of Applied Sciences or HBO, an average grade of at least seven and a half is required. You can find more information on our program on the website of Leiden University following the path that you see on the slide. Education, study programs, industrial ecology. Read also student so stories on the TU Delft page of the study program. Check out the web page as well of our study association, which is really an active community of students, which you can also join for a day, as you can be a student for a day. If you're interested and if you want to have more information, you can also send an email to our study advisors at the email address that you see on the slide. Come and join the industrial ecology community. Help us build a sustainable future. Thank you for listening and hope to see you soon.